Here we are what we call our picking machine. And as the hops are fed in through the boxes, they go through what we call an arm breaker, which just evens out the pile of hops coming in to be picked most efficiently. This facility you're walking through was originally put up in the 1940s and has been retrofitted multiple times since then. This entire facility is only dedicated to separating the hop cones from all of the leaves, stems, and other material. This next step, you can see the hops begin to drop onto this mesh, and as it bounces across rollers, any loose hops will fall through onto a conveyor and skip the next part. Any hops still stuck on the vine will go through what we call the arm picker. The arm picker has a series of rollers with little metal V's on them that will brush off the hops off the vine and any vine left over will go through the chopper to head to our waste pile. These angled belts are called the dribbles, which can be adjusted on the angle and speed per variety, and the hops will roll down and the leaves and stems will stay on. Here you'll see belts moving each and every way, some with cleaned hops, some with hops that need to be further cleaned, and some with hop waste, which is just vine and leaf material. This area of the machine is the recleaning process where they'll go through similar processes once again to be further cleaned. Hop picking machines are only used really one or two months out of the year, and they traditionally run 24 hours a day, seven days a week during that harvest period. After the hops are cleaned in the machine and the waste is separated. While all the other hops take a trip across the conveyor belts to our kilns. Right now you'll be walking through our old kiln, which has been decommissioned and just houses a conveyor to travel the hops to our new kilning facilities. Along this route, they will pass a magnet to take out any sort of metallic objects that may have passed through the machine. Here you'll see our kiln beds, which are slightly larger than industry standards. These would be 40 feet by 34 feet, and typically laid around 20 inches to 28 inches in depth. In our kilning facilities, we utilize some sensors and computer program to help us dry our hops efficiently. There are multiple temperature gauges and pressure sensors along with a scale to give a relative weight. And these communicate through our program to our burners and our fans to adjust the heat and the air pressure throughout the dry time. This helps us dry most efficiently and has cut down our dry times by one third to a half of the time it takes to dry. Here the hops come in through our traveling conveyor belt into our layer belt, which lays an even layer across the kiln bed floor. They are laid on top of what we call a kiln cloth, and that keeps the hops from falling through the floor into the plenum room where all the heat and air is being pushed in. And once the hops are dry, we'll lift the door at the end and be able to roll off the hops on the cloth onto a conveyor into our next process. As the hops come into the layer, 
they hit a pressure sw switch at the end of the laying conveyor and it moves forward ever so slightly and repeats that process over and over again. As we leave the kiln, you will see the large blowers and burners that produced all the air and heat to dry the hops. These rooms underneath are the plenum room, which are about 12 feet tall and house all the hot air and pressure needed to dry the hops. This wall has stickers of a lot of our brewer friends and hop processing and sales. From the kiln, we go into our cooling floor and baling facility. Here the dried hops are laid in even layers across the cooling room floor to further condition and equilibrate for 24 hours prior to being baled. Underneath this giant pile of hops is a small vent that allows ambient temperature air to slowly make its way through the pile and helping to cool and cure the hops. Once they've sat there for 24 hours and are cooled and cured, we begin the baling process. They will be pushed onto our floor conveyor and up into a holding box and then into weigh boxes above prior to being dropped into a hydraulic press, which will create 200 pound bales of hogs to be sewn up in a poly cloth and brought into cold storage. The baled hops will sit in cold storage for approximately 12 hours and delivered to our processing facility the following day. These bags of hops you see on the bottom are fresh hops that are used in specialty brews during the harvest season. These hops are loaded and being ready, are ready to take to our processing facilities.